You have to push to failure. See, as I live my life, I listen to people talk about what they want in life. And I listen and I hear you. Oh, I want to go to France. Oh, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to go back to college. I have this dream of writing a book. That's the one that I hear a lot. People come to me and they say, Sylvester, I want to pick your brain because I want to write a book. But what I hear is you want me to validate your experience or you want me to give you the confidence in you to chase your dream. And what I'm here to tell you today is you cannot wait for permission. Like you have to push till failure, right? Like if you want to write that book, if you want to travel across the country, hell, if you just want to want to talk to the prettiest girl at your school or the most popular girl at your school, you have to be okay with failure. You have to be okay with failure. You have to push until you fail. See, in our society, we put down the people who fail. We laugh at them. We, we think they're weak. We call them names. But who needs to be put down is the people who talk a big game about what they want, and they never show up, and they never commit. I'm going to give you two words you need to keep with you for the rest of your life. The first one is overcommit. Just forget rid of commit. Overcommit. Because I, I'm not even seeing people committed in, anymore. I need an overcommitment. Like, I need to know, and I'm not talking about for your corporate America job. I'm talking about for your soul. What your soul is trying to get out of this life experience. That's what I'm talking about. I need you to be overcommitted to the things that are going to make you well. Your wellness. Your mental wellness. Your physical, spiritual wellness. I don't care about your job. I care about your well-being. Stop neglecting your well-being. Stop neglecting your dreams. Stop neglecting the things that you want to do for all of this crap that's made up. Your soul is, is real. You as a person is real. The things that you want to do and experience is real. You can't wait. You can't wait. I got a friend. He's been working on uh, a course for like six years. Never put, the, never put the course out. Why you never put the course out? Why? Why? Because you're waiting, waiting for the perfect time, waiting for this to happen, waiting for that to happen. You're waiting for permission. You're waiting for validation. You're waiting for someone to uh, approve of you. And you're waiting for success to just be given to you. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. So here's what I want you to do. If you have a dream, if you have a goal and your dream and goals don't have to be related to your career, they can be, but they don't have to be. Maybe you, you just want to learn a second language. Maybe you just want to go for a 30-mile walk. Whatever it is that you want to do. Here's the second word. I told you I had two words for you. I want you to remember. The first one was overcommit. The second word is visualize. I want you to not obsess about the how it will happen. I want you to visualize the end. I want you to feel and visualize yourself in that moment. If you're a high school athlete right now and your vision is, hey, I want to get drafted into the MLB and be a major league baseball player. Like, I want you to visualize that. What does that sound like? What does that feel like? And, and really embody that moment of what that feels like. And here's what's going to happen for you is now you are going to live life in alignment with the actions it will take to be that MLB baseball player who's being drafted in the future. The one I get all the time is, Sylvester, help me out. I want to write my book. What's your perspective? What should I do? Blah, 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 blah. And then I, I, I give and give and give. And then the people never do what I told them to do. So I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done with that giving. Unless you pay me. I'm done with that giving. Visualize yourself as an author. See your book. Feel your book. Smell your book. Close your eyes and make it happen. Before it's happened. See, what happens is as we visualize the life we want to live, our brain begins to rewire and it begins to align with that outcome. Let's say you want to lose weight. Close your eyes right now. See yourself as the version of you that's lost 1% of your body fat. That might be 2 pounds for you. That might be 12 pounds for you if that's your goal. Or if you are in the inverse situation and you're looking to gain more muscle, see yourself feeling stronger. See your biceps popping, right? See your abs popping, whatever it is. If it's a visual thing for you on the body, visualize that on the body. 
the more you begin to visualize and trust the visualizations, the easier it is to create and manifest into this real world. Everything, this is the last thing I'm going to say to you for today. Everything that you're experiencing in, your, in this physical world came from the visualization or the imagination of another human's experience. Everything. Someone imagined, someone was like, you know what? I'm tired of riding horses across the country. I'm tired of it. It takes too long. The horses are too tired. It's actually kind of feels like abuse to the horses. Like, we need something better. They made a car. That, that car, see, because we've had cars our entire experience, we think that they've just always existed. This is new. Someone had the idea like, there's got to be a better way. If you wanted to go from Asia to North America, how would you do that? Well, I mean, there was a time it wasn't happening. It wasn't going to happen at all. And then they said, wow, there's this big thing of water here. Let's make a boat. So then they made boats. Then the boats morphed into airplanes. Just an idea. Someone was crazy enough to say, I'm going to make a vessel that can go through the air that can get me from Asia to North America. And now you can literally go book a $70 flight somewhere. That is that not crazy to you? Right? So as you start thinking about your dreams and your goals, don't think about why they won't happen or what you're up against. Someone literally made an airplane and they were like, oh, I got to figure it out. I'm OK with failure. I'm going to push till I fail. You have to push until you fail. I don't care if you're trying to get better grades. You want to be the first person in your in your uh, in your family to graduate school. You want to move out the country. If you're you and your girlfriend are moving in for the first time, maybe you're just going on your very first date. It's prime, or you're a 22 year old virgin. You've never been on a date. This is your first date, right? You want to write your book. Whatever you want to do, who cares? I'm not here to name what you want to do. Visualize. See yourself doing it. Any little negative thought that comes into your brain when you're like, oh, these are my dreams, these are my goals. You don't have time for the negative thoughts. You don't have, you have space for fear. Fear is real. Fear is for real. Fear is fine. You can be afraid. Okay, I'm afraid of doing this. You can be afraid. You don't have, you don't have time for negativity though. You don't have time for limiting beliefs. You don't have any time for that. You can make time for fear. No time for limiting beliefs. No time for negativity. No time for self-doubt. That's not, that's not what this space is. So you got to remember, you're the creator of your life. You're the creator of your experience. So these thoughts, that, that's why I say, no, nah, we don't need negative thoughts. We don't need self-limiting thoughts. Like we need to believe. We need to visualize. We need to see it play out. We need to be okay with pushing until failure. Because once you push to that failure, and you learn and you engage with that failure and you be okay with losing, that's how you learn how to succeed. That's how you learn to thrive. That's how you learn to win. Because now you already know, oh, I failed here at this, at this situation before because I went right, I'm going left this time. Mm, I failed before because I did boom, boom, boom. Now I know not to do that, I'm doing this. There's no magic trick to your success. There's no magic trick to your goals. It doesn't exist. There's no magic pill to what you want to do in life. You got to show up, push till failure, learn, be humble. Don't be cocky about it. Be humble. Be confident, but be humble. Always be willing to learn. And you have to be over committed. No halfway commitment. No, I, I kind of want it. I'm a little, none of that. All the way in. Full commitment. My name is Sylvester McNutt III. This is the Free Your Energy podcast, and I'm here to help you live the life you deserve. The life you deserve. By my face, hey, don't got time to waste. Yeah. I don't need permission, I'ma do it all today. Yeah. They just can't believe it, man, that's all they gonna say. See these plays up on my Spotify, that's money in the bank up on my face. Hey, don't got time to waste. Yeah. I don't need permission, I'ma do it all today.